Hey traders, Raggy here. And in this video, we're going to talk together about how to sell the rip, not just how the mechanics, which are really the second most important thing, but where, what symbol, which market has the proper structure because structure should always precede strategy. So let's start at the broader indices. If we are looking at the Dow, this is not a short the rip environment. Uh, if we take a look at the S&P, this is also not a short the rip environment. These are both neutral trend markets. Everything starts with this. If the trend is neutral, sure, there's a there's a really good case for are we overbought or not. But short the rip means we're taking advantage of a rally, a rip, which is a retracement or a bounce within the within the overall context of a downtrend. So that rip becomes the opportunity. So overbought is not a short the rip. Short the rip is the opposite of buy the dip. Buy the dip is uptrends or pulling back. Short the rip is downtrends, downtrends bouncing. NASDAQ is in a downtrend. So the, so the previous short the rip, we've seen evidence of this, is, is right here. So I'm looking for something that looks a lot like that. That red line is where I think we have ripped enough, right? That's the rip level at which I want to short. And we closed pretty strong, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a little bit of follow through. Uh, we did not take out recent highs, so it, as much as it was a good bounce off lows, it really wasn't that impressive in terms of going somewhere new. But a rip is, are we in a downtrend? And can I short that downtrend? And again, are we in a downtrend can be answered really easily with some basic tools. Now, if you're in the options room, futures room, of course, or the sector secrets mastery, I've given you all a number of really easy to follow color coded tools to recognize the underlying market structure, bearish momentum, bearish trend, red grab candles south of the 200 propulsion south of the equator, the rip shorting is valid and that means a bounce like this into the automated resistance of the Darbus, which is also included on that free layout that I share with you all in the room drive. And by the way, if you're not a member, I do have the individual tools available for you over at countdowntrader.com. So the layouts are in the room drives of the options, futures, and my sector secrets mastery. And the individual tools are available at countdowntrader.com. And by the way, uh, download those tools, get them on your chart, get used to looking at them because a month from today, March 9, I'm gonna walk you through intraday and end of day examples of what we do with this tops layout. So it'll be a really good follow up after you get to watch these for about a month. These free tools, I'll show you what I have been doing with them. It's not a class or anything. It's going to be highlighting what we have been doing in the mastery and how to use those free tools. So prep with them for the next four weeks. And then I'll show you more about what we've been doing with those tools on March 9th. So put that on your calendar. All right. So RTY, what are the tools in play? Red bearish momentum, red bearish trend, trading up into the automated support and resistance. This is in this case, the resistance of the Darvis 2.0, right? That that in the automation of the 21 propulsion right in there, that's your zone, that's the rip, that's where you wanna short, structure before strategy. Now, once we get the broader indices covered, let me give you another uh, look at where you can go with this, XLY. Now that you understand this, XLY is a very heavily weighted sector within the NQ, within the NASDAQ. So this is really kind of a cousin if you will, it's a piece of, if you want to look at it that way, the NASDAQ, XLY, XLK, and XLC. There's your rip, getting really close to a short setup. By the way, I'll be following up on these particular setups, XLY, NASDAQ, Russell, in charts and coffee at 9 a.m. tomorrow, right here at the Simpler Trading YouTube channel. So be sure to come join us 9 to 9 20 before you go into your respective rooms here at simpler we'll follow up on some of these short the rip setups let's see what happens overnight let's see what else is starting to shape up for a short the rip a couple other places that i was looking uh were let me go back on over to the charts 
Uh, SMH, very interesting, short the rip. Uh, organizing here. Let me open this chart up here for you. So there are a bunch of corners of where we can look for these short the rip opportunities. Do you see it's very formulaic? Now this one is not as good necessarily as a double red, but we can see all the red grab candles moving up into the wave. Let's wait for something a little higher. We'll use this Darvis 2.0 level up in here. Matches up with this high right there. Let's wait for something a little bit more conservative for a short the rip here. But you can take a look at semis for that opportunity too. So there's plenty of, you know, when we have an up day like we did today, don't think about buys. Ask yourself what downtrends are correcting and how can I short the rip? On down days, think about which uptrends are correcting and where can I buy the dip? And then, you know, the chop would follow somewhere after that. But prioritize the trends, my friend, and I'll see you in the next update. If you have any questions about, hey, is my symbol a short the rip or buy the dip? Leave the symbol in the comments and say, hey, Rob, short the dip, buy the rip, give me the symbol. I'm happy to go through that. Smash that like button. I'll see you tomorrow morning at Charts and Coffee at 9 a.m. Hey, traders, Roggy from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.